Hi, I'm Joe. I've just released a new blog post called Internal Linking for SEO. To go along with that, I wanted to do a video review of Link Whisper, the software we use to manage most of our internal linking. So come along to my screen and I'll show you. Okay, so let's look at Link Whisper, what it does, how it works, and how we use it to manage most of our internal linking. So before Link Whisper, we used to manually go through our website and look for opportunities for internal links. So we could take uh, our biggest money pages or service pages and look at the rest of our site and see where there's relevant places to link. Now this was a laborious, long process that didn't get done enough and there's a lot of missed opportunities uh, because without using a tool like Link Whisper, um, you're gonna miss these opportunities. So let's look at how, how it works behind the scenes in WordPress. Once you've installed it, you will get a menu item which says Link Whisper, surprisingly. And then you get a list of your pages. Now what we're interested in is this inbound internal links menu item here. Um, you'll see some pages have got zero links going to that. These are otherwise known as orphan pages. If there's zero links going to a page, you should probably go into that and see if there's any opportunity to add links. If you see one of your biggest product or service pages, you know, go in and see if there's any more opportunity to add links. You'll always find there's something you've missed. So I'm gonna go through a live example here. Uh, content writing, which is one of our main services. Let's see if there's any opportunity to add internal links. It says we've already got six. Let's go in and take a look. So these are the suggestions and it's based off um, the title of the page, I believe. Uh, and it goes for our website and it looks for opportunities that it thinks are relevant. Now, they're not always relevant, they're not always in context, so don't just go through and click happy, add them all. Read every phrase, see what post it's coming from or what page, and see if it's um, a relevant fit. So this first one, try too hard to write for the search engine and the quality of your content inevitably suffers. I don't think the context is right there, so I'm not going to add that one. Write specific content designed to solve a particular user search query. Coming from a Google thread update post, I like that one, so I'm going to tick that. Offer to write a free blog post for potential clients to explain the benefits of having their content. I'm not going to add that one, I don't think the context is completely there on that one. We've got a unique 400 word piece of content that you're interested in. I'm going to add that one. So I believe both of those are contextually relevant. So you click add links and behind the scenes, Link Whisper will go ahead and add those links in for you. Now, you can manually search by keyword to find more opportunities. I like to use a broad term to get as many opportunities as possible. So if I just type in content, so you remember we're building internal links to the content page now. It's going to bring up every opportunity where the word content has been mentioned. So as you can see, this could take a while to go through, but I'll do a few here. So blogs using more time to navigate to use tools on the post for that content that might be useful. So I'll add that one. Some images come, yeah, I'm gonna add that one. And some of these are not really contextually relevant. I'll add that one. And what you can do, if you are a little um, cautious about over-optimizing um, anchor text, even with internal links, which you should be, um, you can change the anchor just by clicking on words. Uh, this will mix up your anchor text so you know you're not adding too many of the same um, links with the same uh, anchor text in there. So I've added a few there. I'll add another one there. 
hard one there. Add links. So that's added around you know, four or five new internal links to content writing in, in minutes. And then the process will be to go back through the support and find more opportunities. So there you go, quick overview of Link Whisper and how we use it for our internal linking strategy. Hope you found it useful.